what is a prompt so a prompt is pretty much an inquiry i guess or whatever you type into chat gpt the prompt tells chat gpt what to generate the quality of response that chat gpt generates is determined based on your ability to write good prompts so it's garbage in garbage out right? if you don't know how to write good prompts you're not going to get good response with chat gpt hence why you probably think it sounds robotic hence why you probably think that it's not useful and you're spending a bunch more time editing it and revising it than you actually are using it properly if you're struggling using ChatGPT in your business, this video is going to show you the exact step-by-step -step process to write perfect ChatGPT prompts so that you could use ChatGPT for literally everything. This is going to help you save easily five to 10 hours per week at minimum if you follow exactly step-by-step -step what I'm going to cover in this video. And as always, timestamps are down below because I know your time is super valuable. So first of all, we're going to start off by talking about what is a prompt. So a prompt is pretty much an inquiry, I guess, or whatever you type into ChatGPT. The prompt tells ChatGPT what to generate. So think of it like being at a restaurant. When you put in an order, the order tells the chef what to cook, what to prep, right? Same thing with ChatGPT. Instead of an order, it's a quote unquote prompt. So when you put in a prompt into ChatGPT, it tells ChatGPT what to make or what to prep, just like how an order would tell a chef what to do. Right? A lot of people have these super complicated definitions for what a prompt is. It's just whatever you type into ChatGPT, right? Now, number two, the quality of response that ChatGPT generates is determined based on your ability to write good prompts. So it's garbage in, garbage out. Right? If you don't know how to write good prompts, you're not going to get good response with ChatGPT, hence why you probably think it sounds robotic, hence why you probably think that it's not useful and you're spending a bunch more time editing it and revising it than you actually are using it properly. Right? A lot of times ChatGPT generates something robotic and then you spend more time editing and revising than if you would have just done it all on your own in the first place. And then that deters a lot of people from continuing to use this tool. But it's not because it's trash, it's because you didn't know how to write a prompt properly. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to write perfect prompts. And the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna start screen sharing. I'm gonna open up ChatGPT and you I want you guys to follow along with me. All right, the first thing we're gonna do here is this Godfather prompt. Now this Godfather prompt is a prompt that makes prompts for you. So if you type this into ChatGPT and then tell it to help you with writing emails, it'll create a prompt around writing emails to help you get the perfect response every single time. Now, this is actually in my AI starter kit and there's nine other amazing prompts just like this one. So if you want my AI starter kit, it's gonna be down in the description below. But for the most part, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy this right here. And then we're going to go into chat GPT and we're going to open this up. So here we're going to say message. We're going to paste. And we're going to delete all this extra stuff that I did not want. All right, perfect. So here's what it says. I want you to become my prompt creator. Your goal is to help me craft the best possible prompt for my needs. The prompt will be used by you, chat GPT. You will follow the following process. One, your first response will be to ask me what the prompt should be about. I'll provide my answer, but we will need to improve it through continual iterations by going to the next steps. Two, based on my input, you will generate three sections. A, revised prompt, B, suggestions, C, questions. And then three, we'll continue this iterative process with me providing additional information to you and you updating the prompt in the revised prompt section until I say finish. So this is a prompt. So I got this prompt from a fellow YouTuber uh, over a year ago. But honestly, I haven't been able to find his video. So if you guys can help me find the original creator of this Godfather prompt, that would be lovely because I'd love to thank him. But um, this is the 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 prompt, right? So all we're going to do is going to hit enter. Now from here, ChatGPT is going to ask you a question, right? What would you like the prompt to be about? So depending on where you are right now in your business or what you're currently working on, right now I'm working on doing a AI workshop, right? So I'm going to tell ChatGPT, Hey, I'm currently working on hosting an AI workshop in late September, right? I need help creating an email, let's say for a four week email sequence to promote it. Now, depending on what you're currently working on, it's going to be different, right? I'm actually working on an AI workshop. I already have all my emails generated and already scheduled, but for purposes of this example, I'm just going to go along with it and then boom, I'm going to hit enter. Now, ChatGPT is going to take what I put in. So I wasn't worried about writing any, you know, writing this in a sort of framework. I wasn't worried about being super, you know, prompt engineering with this prompt. I just told it what I'm working on, plain and simple language, as if I was talking to a friend, right? And then boom, 
ChatGPT took that, gave me a revised prompt, right? Suggestions and questions. So now what I would do is I would just keep going back and forth with ChatGPT answering the questions. And remember what I always talk about. If you watch any of my videos on prompt engineering before, the more context you give ChatGPT, the better its results are going to be. So I'm just going to go and f answer some of these questions just to show you guys. Who is the target audience for this AI workshop? Business owners and real estate agents, right? I'm gonna skip a line. What is the tone I want for my emails? I want it to be curiosity invoking. Mm. I didn't even know that's a tone. And more casual slash friendly, right? Number three, do you have any incentives for early registration? I'm going to make something up. Early registrations are get a free AI starter kit. And then four, do you have any, what's the fourth one? What are the key topic or unique selling points? Only AI workshop in the tri-state, the New York tri-state area. It's free free four days of jam-packed value and so now ChatGPT again is going to revise the prompt even further going to give me more suggestions and then give me more questions now this process uh could go on literally almost forever indefinitely pretty much what i'm going to do for the purpose of this video i'm just going to say i'm finished so when you're done answering all the questions right and the more context you give it again the better the results will be you're just going to type in i'm finished Give me the finalized. And then from there, ChatGPT is going to take in all the information that you just gave it and create one big final prompt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to open a brand new chat in ChatGPT. And then I'm going to paste it and hit enter. And now just like that, it went from, hey, I'm working on a workshop. Help me create, come up with an email sequence to promote it to this big old prompt. And now ChatGPT is coming up with the game plan right now. Week one, announcement and introduction, right? Subject lines, content strategy, right? Boom. And it's going to go down the line. And so no matter what you're working on, you can follow this exact same process. Now, as I said, I did it for email sequence to help promote my event. You could do it to help plan events. You could do it to create video scripts. You could do it to... Um, write emails. You can write, do it to write offers. You can do it to write um, campaigns, like text campaigns or anything. All you have to do is use a little bit of creativity. What are you currently working on? Copy and paste the Godfather prompt that I originally started off with into ChatGPT. Tell it what you're working on. Go back and forth, and then it'll create a super good prompt. And this works for literally almost anything you can think of. But as long as ChatGPT can do it, you can follow this step by step. And now, just like that. I have a full four week email campaign and I can take it one step further and I can say now write email one and then chat GPT will write email one for me. It's like, it's such a, like this alone could save you at least 10 hours a week. Once you learn how to do this, you're going to have perfect prompts. And in fact, this is how I created all the prompts in the AI starter kit. I used the Godfather prompt to create perfect prompts for everything that I needed. And then I just put it into one big PDF and that was the AI starter kit, right? It all started for me using the Godfather prompt. Now that's all for this video. If you find it valuable, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more AI and marketing tips and tricks. And also if you want the AI starter kit and you want the prompt, the Godfather prompt that I've talked to you about, the link is going to be in the description to get that. And if you're struggling with social media and creating content and you need help uh, and want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to work with me is down below as well. We'll hop on a Zoom call, see if we're a good fit for each other, and I will go from there. As always, thanks for always tuning into the videos, and I'll see you in the next one.